my name is Meredith Trapp and I'm a junior plan two and marketing major and I am from San Antonio, Texas and fun fact about me is that I am distantly related to the Von Trapp family and I love to sing. My little brother was diagnosed with cancer when I was 10 years old and it, it was very hard on our family. He was diagnosed with a, a very rare form of leukemia and a very, very bad form of leukemia. And I, I was a bone marrow donor. He went through, the, you know, through a bone marrow transplant and we tried to do everything we could to save him and unfortunately he, he passed away. So a big part of Texas 4000 for me was to, to keep his memory alive in, in myself because I feel like I, I don't remember a lot of the parts of my childhood with, with him growing up because I was so young and it was a five year period of him battling cancer, but you know a lot of it has been lost throughout time as I've grown up. And so for me, Texas 4000 is a way to keep his memory alive and to force me to remember who I was during that time and how it's, it shaped me into who I am today. I think the most difficult part of the ride for me will be keeping up my own personal self-determination while I'm biking to Alaska. We're all motivated people and we're all doing this, we're college students fighting cancer and we're all really passionate about it, but you know, I'm, I'm not only doing this to fight cancer, I'm, I'm doing this for myself. And I'm doing this because this is something I want to do and this is a dream of mine. And I think when I'm trekking up that really steep grade and all I want to do is quit, I don't know if cancer will be enough to push me in that fight. And so I think that's when my own personal self-determination will need to kick in and I'll need to remember why I'm doing this and what is motivating me. I applied to Texas 4000 on a whim because one of my friends told me about it. And I applied the day before the application was due and I didn't expect to get in and I, I didn't really know that much about the organization. And so I went through the interview process and I kind of learned more about it as I went. And it's, it's crazy, but it turns out that this organization was the perfect fit for me and is the perfect fit for me. And I just kind of fell into it and now it's the, most, it's the thing that I'm most passionate about at UT.